Hi everybody, um, I just want to discuss um, what is quite frankly a major fuck up by the American Humanist Association. Um, they've posted a picture of Clarkson with a quote from Clarkson, Jeremy Clarkson that is, saying, I genuinely believe we are born with a moral compass and we don't need it reset every Sunday morning. Now, any organisation with the word American in its name to start really shouldn't want to associate itself with someone like Clarkson. Clarkson is well known for his anti-Americanism and his xenophobia in general and also any group with the word humanist in its association in its uh, sorry in its name uh, doesn't again doesn't want to be associating itself to someone like Clarkson. Um, to detail this Clark Clarkson is a racist, a xenophobe, a homophobe, a sexist and um, and he's also anti-science. He's a climate change sceptic. So, to show you how incompatible this is with humanism, and this is from the American Humanist Association's website, uh, just to read a few passages from the Humanist Manifesto 3, which is the most up-to-date Humanist Manifesto. Uh, humanism is a progressive philosophy of life, so it's not conservative, it's progressive that without supernaturalism affirms our ability and responsibility to lead ethical lives of personal fulfillment that aspire to the greater good of humanity. So basically, humanism requires that you give a shit about humanity, uh, which means you, you're not, your name isn't Jeremy Clarkson. And the life stance of humanism, guided by reason, inspired by compassion, and informed by experiences, encourages to live life well and fully. Um, compassion. Okay, Clarkson said once that he thought... Um, protesting, I think it was the NHS protests, he said that he thought the protesters should be executed in front of their families. And that really doesn't tick the box for compassion in my book. And I don't care if people think he was joking. It's not a funny joke when that, that sort of thing does happen in certain parts of the world, you know, where they don't have uh, free speech and freedom of assembly. Um... Let's read a bit more. The yeah, this is humanism and as its endorsement of, of the scientific method. It says knowledge of the world is derived by observation, experimentation, and rational analysis. Humanists find that science is the best method for determining this knowledge, as well as for solving problems and developing beneficial technologies. We also recognise the value of new departures in thought, the arts, and inner experience. Each subject to analysis by critical intelligence. So. Humanism values science. Now, Clarkson, um, like I said, is a climate change sceptic. Um, he's anti-environmentalist, so he doesn't respect science. He throws science out when it doesn't agree with what he personally believes, doesn't um, tessellate with his prejudices. So I don't see how Clarkson is at all a good, um, a good example of humanism. I don't understand why any humanist organisation would want to imply that he, uh, that Clarkson was one of their number. Um, and the same goes for, if we look at, yeah, here we have it. Um, humanists ground values in human welfare shaped by human circumstances, interests and concerns and extended to the global ecosystem and beyond. So being a humanist requires that you actually give a flying fuck about the environment. Clarkson does not. And going back to my point about, um, you know, Clarkson being anti-American, I mean, he once said that he didn't really care about global warming, climate change or whatever, because uh, he didn't really care if hurricanes were wiping out parts of America. Uh, it's a pretty awful thing to say. You know, even if it's supposed to be a joke, it's not, again, it's not funny. Um... It also says here, I mean, in the manifesto, humanists rely on the rich heritage of human culture and the life stance of humanism to provide comfort in times of want and encouragement in times of plenty. I'm looking at the human culture here. I mean, Clarkson hates culture. He hates every culture that he doesn't, you know, that he doesn't understand. He, he's constantly slagging off cultures from other countries. And skimming on a little bit here... Uh... <laughs> 
here we have it, yeah. humans are social by nature and find meaning in relationships. Humanists long for and strive toward a world full of mutual care and concern free of cruelty and its consequences, where differences are resolved cooperatively without resort to violence. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's explicitly mentioned in this manifesto, but I know that a number of um, humanist organisations uh, do also extend their ethics towards uh, opposition to cruelty to animals. Um, Clarkson was pro fox hunting. He he opposed the ban on fox hunting. So he isn't you know he's not looking for a, a world a world free of cruelty. Um, he just again doesn't give a shit about animals any more than he gives a shit about human beings. Uh, again, I don't know if that's really outlined in this particular manifesto. I know the British Humanist Association um, does cover that a little bit, but. Okay, but that's just another point I'd make, given that Clarkson is British, after all. Um, so yeah, Clarkson pretty much fails all round at humanism. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I find it absolutely ridiculous that no one, <laughs> you know, thought to check up what kind of person Clarkson was. No one at the American Humanist Association thought to maybe check this before decided to post a, a meme of Clarkson. But some people have said, oh, they quite like the quote, even though, you know, they don't like Clarkson. I mean. I don't actually think it's a particularly good quote. He says, I genuinely believe we are born with a moral compass and we don't need it reset every Sunday morning. Um, we're not really born with a natural moral compass. We we develop our morals. Our morals are developed from our basic social instincts. Um, you know, they're developed by our culture. By our, uh, we're raised by our parents and we're raised more broadly by our culture around us. And that's why people have different morals, because they're raised by different people. And that's where you see a sort of a lot of common morals within one culture, because and then as you move further away from your culture, you see quite radically different approaches to morality. Um, so yeah, it, we're not really born with morals, and if you think about it, it'd be kind of silly if we wouldn't really need something like humanism. If we were, if we just we're born, you know, with a set of morals already programmed into us. Which you know, sounds much more like it you know, that, that we would need to have a god or something. We'd actually need to have some kind of deity for that to make sense, as far as I'm concerned. Um, what would we need humanism for? You know, if we've already got all our morals programmed into us, what do we need a moral philosophy for? What do we need to teach people about morals for? Um, but we obviously don't have morals programmed into us, because, like I said, we we our morals are nurtured by our culture, but also uh, there are some people who are very immoral or amoral in the world. There are bad people in the world. You know, they presumably don't have this moral compass. Um, regarding that we don't need it reset every Sunday morning, well, no, we don't need it reset every Sunday morning, but that's not to say we don't sometimes need to, you know, take a good look at ourselves and ask ourselves, are we living ethical lives? Sometimes reassess the way we live in our lives, we might, we might not. So sometimes we do change the way we're living our lives. We might think we're doing the right thing, but then we might look at look at ourselves and think, actually, maybe I need to reassess things. We need we need to make a few changes in my life. Um. So yeah, we do sometimes need it reset. It's not just something that's innate to us. It's not just um, inbuilt and fully functioning and, and programmed into us. So even then, I don't actually think it's a very good quote. <laughs> You know, even if you ignore the fact that Clarkson made it. So I think this is a major fuck-up on behalf of the American Humanist Association. But let me know what you think, everybody. Goodbye.